guys, what the fuck is up with my hair? Okay, what's up guys? So, oh my god, I just got back from Denver from working. Look at this, look at this tan, guys. Look at that. Okay, probably still looks white, but who cares? I know I'm tanner <laughs> than I was. But guys, I just bought like my first individual suite. And I also, because a lot of you guys tell me this, I also bought a black and mild, so I'm gonna try this shit. But oh my god, guys, I've been having like a fucking crazy ass like day, honestly. I'm about to roll up a blunt. I'm gonna keep it live for you guys because I don't know. I just want to. Fuck, this is so weird. Oh my god, it's so fucking weird. I might be having a mental breakdown right now. I don't really know what the fuck is happening, but I need something to roll on. I can't find it. Serena skateboard it is. But guys, holy fucking A. So, I'm sorry if this is going to be a really long video. But guys, okay, for one, look how I just got my weed. Look at this. This is fucking crazy. And for two, you guys remember when I would get a 40, right? In Nebraska. Look what I just fucking got for a 40. Like, like what the fuck? And this is, oh my god, I am just so... Like, I straight up would have gotten that for a 40. I in the I got six Gs, and I'm just like, dude, are you fucking kidding me right now? That's, like, crazy. So, yeah, I'm gonna grind up that shit. I hope you guys saw that. I'm so fucking happy. Like, I even got a container, guys. You would know I've never even had a container of my own. I always get my fucking weed in, like, a, you know, a little baggy shit. But, yeah, so we're gonna get cracking on this, this suite right now. I really hope this rolls, like, good. I went to the store to pick up some groceries. You hear, you hear how adulting that sounds? I just like how it sounds. But, oh my god, guys, it's been fucking weird. So, so today at work, I work on a... Uh, I'm so happy. I work on a food truck. And today, this girl literally, like, passed out, like, right in front of the food truck. And I was like, oh my god. And so I was like, I don't know if I was, like, scared of that. I don't think I was. I didn't feel like I was terrified. But, anyways, with the sides... Okay, sorry. I can't really focus that great. I need to, like, split this for a second. Okay, now I can talk. All right. So, I saw that girl faint, and I was like, well, damn, that, that sucks. And so, I got I got home, because it's where I live. It's, like, an hour from um, Denver, I'd say. And um, when I got home, I was just chilling, waiting for Serena to get out of the shower so I could take a shower. And, like, I got this weird, like... Um, feeling like a weird like a and I swear to god it was like I had deja vu I was like holy shit I feel like I've seen this before like just the situation that was going on around me like nothing it was like nothing big at all it was literally like I was sitting there but you know when you feel like you've seen that before oh god this is really dry hopefully it rolls good but um yeah so I was like oh I swear to god I've fucking seen this before and so, um, I sat down and like, I got really, really weak. Like I was going to faint and like really, um, like nauseous feeling. It was weird. I was like, what the fuck? So then I got scared that I had like heat exhaustion because I'm pretty sure that's what that girl had today. And so I was like, oh fuck, like what if I have heat exhaustion? So I started chugging a lot of water and shit and drinking water. And then, like, it kind of went away, but I got, I don't know, I got really, just, it was fucking weird. And so I was like, okay, well, I, I just need, I'm dehydrated, I need to drink some water. So I started drinking water. Then after Serena gets done with the shower, I go out, and oh my god, this weed is just so amazing. It smells so fucking good. But, um, he opened the jar, and I was just like, oh. um, but yeah, so I got in the shower, I was just shaving my legs, and all of a sudden the same feeling happened, where I, like, I was like, and it's like fucking, I don't know, it's weird because of deja vu shit. I'm like, I feel like I've seen this before. And then all of a sudden I like get like really sick feeling. Like I can't even like, just, it's fucking terrible. And then it just kind of goes away. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? So then I went to get weed and I was driving to get weed and I was driving on the road. And it's all like I've had, I swear it's like I've had it like dreams or something because I remember some of my dreams you know everybody kind of remembers some of them so I remember some of them and the ones I remember I keep having like deja vu and shit like I just had a weird ass like holy shit that was see I don't know what's happening I just had like a realization moment that I was just talking and I was like oh I haven't smoked enough weed maybe that's the issue <laughs> oh I'll get to that part okay so then I go to buy weed and I get the same shit and like my face it's like my face feels like like the blood rushes out of it and, like, 
it's just, it's weird. Like, I feel like I'm going to puke. Like, that feeling you get right before you're going to puke. Oh, my God. I feel like it's going to happen again soon because I have this, like, deja vu feeling. It's fucking, it's weird. And so, um, one sec. I'm grinding up this weed. Okay, so, um, I called my mom, and I was just, like, I was talking, I didn't call her, I was just talking to her on the phone, because I wasn't, like, I was kind of, like, what the fuck, but at the same time, I was, like, and because I had it, like, while I was talking on the phone to her, too, because I was, like, walking around outside, just talking on the phone, and, like, I got that feeling again, so I just sat down, and, like, because I didn't want to, like, faint or whatever, and then I, like, told her about it, and she's, like, hmm, that's weird, so she googled it, and I think I have, um, mountain sickness, (laughs) Like, as stupid as it sounds, it's, like, and it's weird because I've never had it before. Like, I've been to tons of places with mountains, but I've never had, like, mountain sickness. And so, like, I guess it's from, like, the elevation difference and, like, it's depleting my body of nutrients. So, like, it can make you feel like that. So, yeah, I was, like, oh, my God. But it was fucking terrible. It, like, made me, like, I was driving to get weed and literally I was, like, oh, my God, I want to pull over because I think I'm going to puke. Because it feels like you're going to puke. But it's just fucking crazy, man. I don't know. I can't believe I just got this shit for a 40. I am so like, ah, like, oh my God. I was only going to buy a 20. And then I was like, you know what? I'm tired of like sitting here without weed and shit. Like I live in fucking Colorado and I'm sitting here without weed. Like this is the place I should be smoking weed. You know, I'm working. I should be smoking. And like compared to what I was doing in Nebraska, I wasn't like working and I was smoking a shit ton. So like, yeah, what the fuck? So yeah. And then it's just so, like, I don't fucking know, guys. It's, like, I swear to God I've had these, like, I don't know. These dreams. They're not scary dreams. They're just, like, dreams about my life. Like, just regular dreams. Like, me sitting here right in the spot right now, like, staring forward. I swear to God I have dreamt this before. And, like, when I drove to, um, I drove to Safeway to get groceries. (laughs) Because my mom was, like, my mom was like, Sierra, I think you have mountain sickness or altitude sickness or whatever. It's from the change of altitude. And so, um, I don't know why I'm grinding up more. That is definitely enough. So my mom was like, yeah, so just get some, like, some high carb food. And I was like, okay. She's like, yeah, like bread. See what? <sighs> if you guys didn't know, this makes your blunt softer. <sighs> it's like it doesn't break when you're, like, trying to roll it. But anyways. So my mom was like, yeah, go to the store and get some, like, high-carb shit. And so I was, like, walking around the store talking to my mom on the phone. Because I think it was, like, really worried her. Because I was like, mom, I've never felt this before. Like, this is fucking weird. Because it feels like a mental thing. But at the same time, like, it's physical. So I'm like, I don't think I'm just imagining this. Because I don't have, like, anxiety, really. But then at the same time, like, I just moved out. So my mom was like, well, maybe you're just, like, a little anxious. And I'm like, yeah, like, that could be. Because I do have little moments of where I'm like, holy fuck, like you know, you know, everybody has those moments of just, like, realization, like, fuck, so, yeah, um, that happened, just got off of work, working at an event in Denver this weekend, I worked, like, 20-something hours right in two days, and, like, made 160 bucks, so that's pretty cool, and I'm gonna be getting another job soon, so I can, yeah, so I'm kind of pumped, and then I'm also gonna, um, start school, in these for all you people who fucking say like get a like go to school do something productive with your life and i'm like bitch i am going to school like what oh my god i keep having deja vu i think i need to just smoke this shit because like it's getting weird man and like old dreams are like popping back up in my head and it's just like fucking weird And they were like, they were like, they weren't bad dreams, but they were, I don't even, see, all I can say is weird, because that's, that's only, literally the only word I can think of is, it was just fucking weird. I'm gonna turn my car on so I don't kill the battery on this bitch. It was just terrible. It's terrible, honestly. So, yeah. See, I feel it right now, guys. I feel it. And, like, that's the thing also. I can, like, feel it coming on. It's fucking crazy. And, like, I'm not one to get sick or complain about getting sick, but, like, this is fucking weird, man. I'm kind of freaking out. So, tell me if this has happened to you where you kind of feel like you're losing your mind. <laughs> Maybe this medical marijuana. That's not what this is, by the way. I haven't got my medical marijuana card yet. I've been too busy working. But I'm going to try this week and go. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. Like, I'm genuinely, like, scared. 
to go in there because like I've always marijuana for me has always been like a you don't saw like tell people I don't know I feel like this is like actual like legal like I'm going in and like I don't know it's fucking like I'm just kind of nervous you know because I've never had it be like looked at like this in Nebraska people were instantly just like oh my god marijuana and I'm like oh my god marijuana like yeah I even asked the dude who um I hope he's watching this video the dude he was maybe hopefully I don't hopefully he's watching this video because he was cute but um I was like yo you want to smoke a blunt so I don't know maybe someday we'll have a session with him and I even asked him I was like do you have an issue with being on camera he's like no I feel myself smoking blunts all the time and I'm like hell yeah sorry guys I have not rolled a blunt in a minute and, like, I've never rolled one with, like, this kind of, like... It was weird. It came like this. I know this is not, probably not weird to you guys, but it came in an individual one. And, like, I never used to buy them in individual ones. I used to always just buy, like, you know, the two-packs. But they only had individual ones there. They had backwoods. But I'm not trying to roll up a backwood right now. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you. I have rolled a black back a backwood one time. Um, oh, is that... This actually turned out decent. You go, Sierra. You fucking go. Oh, God. It was so funny. So, the guy I live with, he's also my boss, Um, told Serena that him and the other guy that lives here, there's actually, like, four, or, like, there's three guys that live here, but um, the guy who my boss, he's not staying here right now because we're staying in his room because the guy who's living in our room, it's just, it's just the whole thing, okay? So, we're staying in this guy who... um. It's like Serena's godfather, basically. We're staying in his room, so it's not, it's not super weird. So we're staying in his room, and the guy, like, right next door to, to his room, like, smokes all the fucking time, and you can just smell it, because it's dank. And so, um, I guess, uh, him and one of the guys that, I don't know, I guess a few of them smoke, or I don't really fucking know. I'm sorry, these stories are just, oh, that helped. I want to squeeze my chair back, but I still got junk in the back of my car, and I was just... It won't move back any farther. I think yes. Okay. See you guys, deja vu again. I fucking... I, I'm gonna get this shit on camera if I start feeling sick or something. I think I just need to smoke this blunt, honestly. It's so fucking crazy, too. It's crazy for me. I was at this event, right? This freaking... um. Oh, and I also bought a new light for... So I was at this event, right? And every, like, five minutes, I got the... And not even at just at the event. Just, like, in general, when you're just driving around, like, at least where I'm from, you just get this whiff of weed all the time. And I'm just sitting there, like, looking at Serena, like... I want to fucking smoke. I hope that's not the cops coming for me. But, yeah, so then my boss... Slash landlord. He, uh... Him and the guy downstairs were like laughing because they're like, we think it's funny that like you guys have to take a bike ride so you go smoke your reefer. They were like laughing at that. I was like, they fucking said that. She's like, yeah. And I was like, oh my god. Oh my lord, people, I'm fucking back. Oh my god, yes. I haven't smoked a blood since I've been here. It's been like a week. And before that, it was like four days. So. It's been like, yeah, it's been a long time. I don't even want to do the math because I don't care about the math right now. But yeah, so um, they were like laughing because like I think they noticed because when we went for a bike ride, I came back to my car to put my shit away because I don't, I don't, I don't know, you know, I don't know how he's gonna feel about it. Like I don't know what reaction he would have, so I don't want to just like walk in like I don't know, like reek it like weed. You know, now I don't even give a fuck about walking there because those motherfuckers seriously smell so much like weed all the time. Like, I always just, like, walk by his room, like, I literally almost was about to go ask him if I could buy something. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, uh, and then one of our workers, the workers who worked with us, she was sitting on the cooler literally just, like, smoking out of a pipe, and I was just sitting there, like, it's fucking badass. But it was before, like, work started. But, yeah. Um, let's see, what else has happened? To me? Oh my god, okay, so we went to this event in Denver and we, uh, 
I've had a deja vu as a motherfucker. Shit's so weird. So we went to one of the, and if I'm staring forward, it's because there's just, there's nothing ahead of me. It's literally just like a, like a road and people are just going by, but I don't, I don't feel, I don't know. I just, it's comfortable to stare up. So I'm sorry if I'm not staring at you. I will try to stare at you. But, um, so, and it's easier to think if I'm just looking forward compared to if I'm looking at myself. Cause if I look at myself, then I start looking at like, like that. <laughs> but anyways, okay. What was I talking about? Fuck. Okay. So. My body is going to Billy Balls an hour right now, guys. I'm sorry. So we went to this event in Denver, and we um, it's like an hour drive, like I told you. And we didn't want to. It's a two. It was a two day event, and we didn't want to. Our body is fucking. We didn't want to drive back, and so we uh stayed at like our boss's uh like cousin or whatever. I don't know some relation like that, and like. We went up to the room, because we were staying in the spare room, it was just like a pull-out couch bed thing. And there was just like a sheet, there was like no blanket. And so I was like, shit, Serena, like, the only time we didn't bring blank blankets, because we always like bring our own blankets. Like, I have a Steelers blanket, and she has like a Buccaneers blanket, and I don't know. We just, if you go on vacation, like, you have that one blanket you take, I always take that, like, on the airplane with me. So yeah, I always just have it with me. The one time I didn't have a fucking blanket, like, we didn't have any blankets. So we're sitting there like, well, fuck. And we didn't have any sweatshirts either because we're working at, like, like if you see, like, my arms, like, they're darker because it was, like, hot out. And it was, like, sunny. So we didn't bring any sweatshirts or anything. And so, like, I was just sitting there like, well, fuck. Like, I'm already cold, you know? Like, this. Oh, well, actually, I, I remember thinking, like, this room's not too bad. I think I can handle this. And then, like, Serena goes, well, I have a towel. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. We're going to be sharing a fucking towel. So I, like, messaged my mom then. She's, like, laughing at us. But... It was funny. We ended up... It's so fucking hilarious. One sec, I hear kids. So we ended up... Um, there was like a door... Like the back of the door had the hangers on it. And there was like probably like 50 sweatshirts on that hanger. Because I think it was this guy who we worked with. It's like room for to put his clothes in. or I don't know. You know. Just like a spare room. And so like... We, like, each took a hoodie and just put it on. And we, like, wore this guy's hoodie and, like, slept in it. Because we didn't have anything else. And, like, we didn't have any blankets or anything. And so, yeah, that happened last night, which is kind of crazy, but, yeah. Then, today at work, I was sitting there in the kitchen, and it's a food truck, so I was sitting in the in the food truck, not sitting, I was, like, standing, and I turn around, and, like, I see, like, flames, and I'm like, oh, shit, and so I guess something happened to, like, the smoker, I didn't, I wasn't, the, my boss was, like, already, like, doing something to it, I was just like, damn, what's going on? And then I look over and I hear a commotion and this girl literally had fainted like right in front of the window of our like thing and I was just like and people were like yelling I was like so I got her like a wet um I got like a cold rag so I like ran, ran and got that because she was like fainted like passed the fuck out I was like like I've never seen someone pass out like that and I think it was from like heat exhaustion and so like we went we got our water and shit and oh, what is it? Oh, shit, right back. but we got water and shit and for her and stuff and they got her taken care of but I was just like like literally two things happened in one minute and I was like I went from like nothing to like holy shit like just like that I was like what the fuck it was crazy it's really crazy but yeah I feel like I was gonna tell you guys something just now but I just blazed I'm high as fuck already Look how far I am, guys. Holy fuck. I don't even... Oh, my God. I can't even imagine how high I'm going to be. I knew this was going to happen because, like, I haven't smoked, like, Colorado weed, I guess you'd call it. I don't know if I smoke Colorado. And I I forgot the name of it. He told me, but... I think it was, like, Galaxy something. Yeah, something like that. Wait, look at that. It's an actual smell proof jar. It's crazy. But yeah, so, what else am I going to tell you? Oh my god, I'm going to be so high. I can't even imagine. <coughs> <coughs> <But> yeah. <coughs> then also, <coughs> I'm sorry, also, um, I didn't eat that much today because I was, like, working and shit. And, like, I had, like... Now that I think about it, all I had was, like, two bites of a fucking... 
French toast. And like I was working outside all day, so like I, my mom was like, well you need to eat like a high carb diet. So this is what I got. These are not sponsored by the way. I got extra crispy french fries. My mom recommended hummus and pretzels, so I got hummus and pretzels and pizza rolls. Because I wanted to get vegetables, but I didn't want to cook it, and I don't, it's more, I feel like, not more expensive, because you guys know it's not, but like, I wanted fruit, actually, but I needed something that was going to fill me up, and I know fruit was not going to do it, because I could eat a whole watermelon and just be chilling. What the fuck? There's like something like walking over there, but I think it's humid. But you know what? I ride my bike and I smell weed all the time, so I bet they don't even think about it. Probably like it's normal. But yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna save this and smoke it like outside later or something. Nah, I'm not gonna smoke it. But I would just smoke it now because I'm gonna be fucking high as shit. But yeah, guys, 21 minutes. Holy shit! I hope you guys are ready for a long ass video because. This is about to be, I need to drink some water though. So yeah guys, whenever I was having like those little like attacks, those little like sick attacks, it's fucking crazy. I had one when I was driving and I was like, I wanted to pull over. I was like, oh my God, like I want to pull, but I didn't, I just kept going. <laughs> so I turned on the AC cause I felt my face get like, it went like cold and then all of a sudden it started getting really hot and I was like, oh my God. So I turned the AC on to like cool me off. Cause I thought I, had, I, I thought I had like heat exhaustion, like that girl, but I don't think so. And so, like, I was, this is kind of bad. Look at that. Well, um, I'm sorry about this angle of me, by the way. I also just took a shower, so my hair is extra frizzy right now. But, um, yeah. Finally got to take a shower. And, you know, I just, like, I love how, like, when I, whenever I move homes, I always kind of just, like, the house that I moved to, I always feel already like it's home. You know what I mean? Like, like, even though it's not, like, you know, when you, so say you live in a house for, like, 10 years, right? And, like, that is your home. That is the homey place. If you, That's your safe place. You know, that's the place in your heart that, like, you want to go to when you're, like, <laughs> some people. You know, like, well, at least for me. Okay, that's the place. And that's how I see my home is, like, that place that I just want to, if I'm feeling anything, like, I could be at home and just, you know. And so, like, I was always nervous that when I moved, I, like, wouldn't feel like that at our new house. But, like, I always did. And I feel like that already because when we were in Denver, I was like, oh, my God, I want to go home. I like meeting here because I did. I was like, I just want to go back here. Go home. So, yeah. Okay, so we wanted me to talk about conspiracies, but I don't really know any. Conspiracy. What? Well, what? What's a conspiracy theory? Oh fuck, there's a kid riding by right now. That's awkward as shit. Yeah, I'm gonna just smoke this later, guys. I'm already high as fuck. I'm gonna go inside and like make some food so I don't die. So I hope you enjoyed this little smoke sesh with me. Sierra Sill. Fuck. That's fine. I always feel like I'm scared to go in when I reek, but like, these motherfuckers reek all the time. There probably reeks in there right now. Alright guys, I'm gonna go inside. I hope you enjoyed this long ass fucking video. So yeah, peace out.